What's up everybody? We have a really sweet video today. We're gonna be heading somewhere. Trevor, tell them what we're doing today. PXG invited us down to their showroom. Who they PXG. Is that, that's why you're wearing your shirt. Yeah, it is. They want us, I'm gonna need to get some swag when I'm there. <clears throat> they want us to go down to the showroom. They want us to review the brand new cavity backs, 0317s. Ooh. We've well, hit the blades before, but this one yeah. might be a little we'll bit. Love to see if they're a little more forgiving, yeah. see if they end up in the bag. I'm excited, let's go. All right, don't forget if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can come to our showroom or we can send you down to the PXG showroom. Just tell them that Ember sent you and it helps us out quite a bit if you do that. Or if, even if you're not local, give us a call. We can help you with your order. Order anything you need from PXG. Gen 6 has done wonders, out. but not it's over. Like, yeah. How's it going? We're here for a fitting with embers. And do you think we should probably get out of these Nike clothes and get a shirt on for the fitting, don't you sure. think? I'm already in PSG. Oh, I'm gonna pick out a shirt. It's, this hoodie's kind of cool. Kind of like this with just the gray sleeve. That's pretty sweet. On the back too, you got the little stripe. So walk me through the idea behind a, a cavity back. So it, it is a forge club and then it's milled here in the yep. middle, essentially. Yeah. So milled, milled on the back, it also has a milled face. Um, it's gonna be a three times forged body. Okay. Um, so similar to you know our gen six forge clubs, those are five times forged. This is three times forged, there's no polymer on the inside. That cavity back is gonna allow for you know more forgiveness. More forgiveness than like a pure blade ST style right. that we offer. But then, then you would be ideally getting more feedback on this as a foam, as opposed to ones that have the polymer. Yes, yeah, exactly. So you'll get more feel, more workability. Um, that's that's a benefit from these CBs. It's just it's going to have a lot more forgiveness than the STs. That's right. why we came out with this line. So it's kind of uh, filling that sweet spot of players that maybe aren't in a true bl blade type club, but also. Um, it's just a fully stamped, forged club versus a hollow body with poly, yep. poly the X how do you say Yeah, the X-Core. <laughs> X-Core fill. Yep, X-Core polymer. So a little more better feedback maybe yep. for a little bit better player. Yep, so better feedback. Um, and the blades, you know, those are for skilled, the skilled players or people that like a thinner profile. We made these to give a little bit for more forgiveness, get people, you know, maybe in that 3 to 15 handicap, somebody that still wants something that looks good. Um, that's very forgiving. So don't, no mistake, these are definitely a lot more forgiving than the STs. Yeah. So the sure. guys that you have, like uh, some of your sponsorship guys, are they move into a club like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they are, or they'll blend the sets, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, do you do a lot of combo sets? Yep, so you can combo the sets with the, like the CB and the 0311 ST, uh, the lower scoring irons. Uh, so more of a blade and kind of a, like a wedge yeah. look. Um, and that's where most of those guys are going. So. Could you see a combo set for amateurs maybe the other way? Yes, sir. Like yep. a Gen 6, like 4, 5, and 6 iron, and then yep. something like this and a scoring iron? Yep. So we had a guy down here at the Centennial store last week. He did Gen 6 P's, uh, 4 through 7. Uh, oh, 8 wow. iron is where he felt more comfortable going to a CB look. Um, so definitely you can blend the sets 100%. And then you'll just have to adjust the loss uh, where, where, where needed. So right. maybe weakening the P's. So you're gapping as Yep, well. or going with the CBs a little strong. So just dialed in the, a perfect set for yep, somebody. exactly. So we'll talk about this adjustable weight in the fitting. As we've been, Tate and I have been doing more fittings, I've been, gotten a lot more familiar with what kind of weight I like, how heavy I want my shaft. And I'll talk about this specifically being a huge benefit for someone like PXG compared to other, other brands that do cavity back irons. So the reason why I think this heavy of a weight is so key, now a lot of people, uh, may not pay attention to this or notice it in their swing, but because we're always tinkering around in the showroom and doing so many different fittings, I've been noticing this a lot lately. And so I've been in a heavier shaft because I realize what I like is when I'm here, I don't like to feel like the head super heavy because I feel like when the head's too heavy, it kind of collapses the top of my backswing because I can feel the weight of that head. 
but I also don't like it to feel super light to where it's doing this on me. So I kind of like a really well-balanced feel where I'm not really feeling the head at all, kind of, if that makes sense. It's just kind of an even, does that make sense? Yeah. Am I on yeah. track or no? No, yeah, so you don't, yeah, you like feeling a balanced club. You yes. You don't like head heavy or grip heavy? No. Yep. Oh, by the way, you can see they got the, obviously you're fitting with the new PXG golf balls too, right? Yep. So we got our own PXG exclusive fitting balls with the, with the dotted sensor in it. That one felt good. Better, yep. Good swing, yeah. Ball speed 118 and a half. Got launch angle coming in at 18 and a half. Uh, spin rate, that was a little low, 48, 47. Yeah. Super soft. Uh, obviously not as soft as a Gen 6, but it's giving me better feedback. Like Bobby said, like I can feel when I'm thinning it or if I tow it. My first shot was a little closer to the heel of the club and I can feel that. Yeah. So I kind of like that because when I'm on the course, I can self-correct. Like if my miss that day is toey, yep. I can feel it and correct it. Yep, for sure. Yeah, being able to know where you missed it on the face, kind of playing for you. Yeah. So far, it seems fairly forgiving. I mean, I've been all over the golf course a little bit. No, I mean, it's, it's coming in good. I've been how practicing, Bobby. <laughs> how, how does the top line look? Good, thin. It looks like a, it does. Do you have like a Gen 6 to like compare yeah. it to like on the camera? Top line looks pretty good, similar. So that, so like you could uh, combo set that pretty easy visually. For sure. So that's going to be the Gen 6P uh, top line here, and then we got the CB. So Both very, look really clean. Yep, very similar. Cool. Kinda that one was toe I feel like. Kind of mess around with some uh, head weight here in a minute. That was not a good strike, but let's pay attention to this one and see how forgiving it is. You've, so see, I called that toey yep, so because I could feel it. Yeah, so your feel was there. Look little, at this, Chris. A little high on the toe. So I, I could tell, I, I said toey, and look, that's right where I hit it, right on the toe. So I, I like that. I like that I can feel what's going on. How did the weight feel as far as the balance? It felt balanced. In that setup, okay. Everything yeah. feels just a touch heavy, but not in a bad way. Yep. Like, But it, it feels balanced. Like sure. the head doesn't feel too heavy. Yep. I don't, I don't like to say there's a blanket sort of skill range, but who are you guys targeting with this type of club club head? So, it, I mean, it's- Lower gonna, handicap or mid to low? I wouldn't say necessarily low. Like a low handicap or like, you know, single digits, that's probably gonna be like an ST kind of guy, right? Yeah. Um, some low handicaps definitely can get into this head because it's a workability head uh, and it provides more feedback than, you know, some of the, the other models. Yeah. But I really do think it's a line that's, for for a lot of golfers um mm -hmm. not not obviously going to be the most forgiving head we have but it's going to be a surprise kind of you know you, you can probably find a 15 handicap maybe blending a set maybe not going all the way through but um i wouldn't say it's for like a zero like zeros will get it mm -hmm. but um you know yeah it's not the target target market yeah target market but you could also see for. someone like me like a 15 ish Definitely. It. Yeah, well, 100 percent. Yeah. It's not above my pay grade. No, no, it's not. All right, don't tell me what you did. I'm gonna see if I can figure it out. Okay. I don't know what you did. Let me switch this real quick. Oh, that one felt really good. I pushed it a bit, but it felt really good. Yeah, a little push. But that one felt awesome. Yep. Ball speed number came up. Your overall club head speed came up. Um, you swung it three miles an hour faster than you swung the first setup. You make it lighter? I did. So what I like about them is, like I said, I need that higher launch. So the 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 Gen 6 P series is a, like uh, Bobby said, is a 30 degree. So the weakest I can make that is 32. I prefer, I think a 33 or 34 degree, just based on my swing type, gives me better launch angles. And it doesn't, it doesn't um, sacrifice me yardage because now I'm getting appropriate club. People think like when you do loft a club, you're going to lose yardage. Not always. Like if the ball can stay in the air longer, it's gonna go further. So, you like the shaft for me or you wanna change change it up a little bit? Uh, let's do a couple more. I mean, I do like it because it is in the stiff flex category, KVS, the tour shaft is gonna be more of a mid to high launching shaft. Right. Which also helps with spin rate. All right, D4, same same swing rate as the last one. Uh, Dynamic Gold 105. Lighter shaft, lighter club head. Yep. So this is what we're talking about. This is like the secret sauce. This is the only cavity back I know with an adjustable weight. Wait, Rick, wait. Yep. <laughs> adjustable weight. For sure. Yeah, what are I they, mean. Progressive adjustable rates. <laughs> oh, that felt good. That's a push again, but felt really good. 
Whoa. Let's see. So instant instant feedback though, like yes. you I hit it right and away. you knew it was gonna go right and you knew it was off center. Yes. So if you're looking for a club that provides that instant feedback but still has more forgiveness than just your tour blade, the, the new CB is definitely where you need to go. And it's not as soft as the Gen 6 because of the, the foam that doesn't have that foam fill, but because it's more of like a truly stamped forge club versus a hollow club, it, it's still, I think it compensates that for a little bit. So it's not as soft, but it's close. Yep. Well, and that's the softness that you're feeling without the X-Core polymer right. is because it's a forged club. Right. Right? Oh, that's it. Oh, that one's, that one's nuked. What do you guys call it? The Cream City Show? Yeah, it's Cream City. <laughs> we don't want to talk about the Bucks right now. They just lost last night. So I went light. I, I did what you said you didn't prefer because I okay. wanted to see how that one worked. So light shaft, heavy head. Ah. So we saw that, that dispersion got a lot wider. Yeah, my misses were worse. Yep, exactly. So that's telling me that that's definitely not the setup and I would- You keep... telling me I was right. <laughs> you, you, you know your swing for sure. Um, I, would, I like you with a KBS Tour 120 stiff. Definitely got you the best launch angles. Let's try uh, that one again. Spin rates. A few more of those. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good right there. Def that's definitely the winning setup as far as PXG CB irons go. Yep. Uh, the only thing we got to change is we got to change it to black. Yep. Extreme dark, baby. Extreme dark. So yeah. Trevor is very analytical. He likes the numbers. He likes to know all that stuff. Yeah, I overanalyze everything. Um, I'm more the kind of guy that, I know what shaft I kind of like, but I'm more the guy, hand me a configuration, I'll tell you if it feels good or not, if it doesn't, let's mess with it. You don't even need to know the weights. Yeah, I don't care I don't about, yeah. yeah, I don't know what weights, I'm down to try whatever, and if it works, it works, if it doesn't, let's move on. Yep. All right, let's get this going. All right, let's see what it does. Oh, good swing. That one, I just slowed my tempo down a little bit. What's well, similar carry distance that you're? Yeah, I'm getting like mid 170s. Okay. The seven iron land. Okay. Finish about in the mid 180s. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, on your good one so far, even your like the miss hit, miss hit was 173. Yeah. Uh, good ones are coming in anywhere from like 182 to 186. Thoughts on the the feeling and what I did to the head? Yeah, that combo is better than better. the first one. Yeah. So what I did, I was able, since we have our weight port on the back here, I was able to get you to that D2 swing weight by yeah. throwing two extra grams in there. Yeah. Give you something a little bit more to feel down there. Um, just want to test the waters and see kind of what, uh, what other weights do. Okay. Oh, that is, <laughs> that's the best that we've seen. That's uh. Ball speed 127, carry 198. Thoughts versus your Gen 6 P's. What do you, what it's do you definitely not as soft, but I think my only issue with my, my Gen 6s right now is everything feels good. For sure. So if it's off the toe, it feels good. If it's off the heel, it feels good, which is probably a great thing for most players, but I'm starting to get, like right now I'm eight handicap, so I'm yep. getting to that point where I want feedback. For sure. I want the shape ability. Yep. Not that I can't do that with the P's, but it just, It'll just be a little bit easier yeah. with something like this. Yeah. That's good. Do you feel like you generate a lot, like too much spin sometimes? No. Oh, side spin, yes. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, I would tell you that would be another reason to go with the LZ, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, It'll kind of taper that down a yeah. little bit. Sure, yeah. Well, imperfections. Oh, I forgot the face is yeah. Too. Imperfections, obviously, on the back, consistency, having a milled face, longevity of the club spin rate, more penetrating ball flights, keeping that kind of, you don't get uh, kind of shooters, right? Something that comes off really low spin, your spin rates are consistent. I mean, I think that's a big thing that it happens with a milled face yeah. and being forged. Mm -hmm. So having best of both worlds forged, milled, it's kind of the sweet spot for us. Yeah. I like it. So I think the other big thing, Chris, on this club specifically is when we're hitting on a track man and you have that three or four second delay, that feedback was phenomenal because I already knew what the ball was doing before the track man logged it. Yep. So that's true. I think that's the niche of this club that's going to find is, you know, somebody that wants a little more feedback, regardless if you're an 18 handicap or a 10 handicap, you get that feedback, which is awesome. You know what to work on. You know what you need to take to the, to the range. It's awesome. Yeah. 
Cool. Oh, that'll get there too. Yeah. 313 with a five yard cut. I really that's, wailed that one. Ooh, it's a low missile left. Cream City though. Yeah. yeah. Man, this feels good. All right, Tate, I, I did four straight right out the gate, so no pressure. <laughs> low, oh. low, low mid, low. <laughs> low mid launch, low swim. <laughs> Oh, that sounded better. Don't be spinny. There it is. 300, Cream City. <laughs> 300 even? Yep. Took you three tries. Well, we got some good swag. We got swag. We got CBs fitted. CBs were impressive. The you went to backs. Cream City four times in a row with four a driver. Four straight times, right out the gate. I can't get that out of my head, but yeah. I'm going to have to try that new shaft. Yeah. I'm going to have to. I already have a Gen 6 driver, but I have no choice. Dang it. Gave me no choice. I'm going to have to hit more golf balls. Well, not me. Okay, so um, I'm excited. Bobby's getting those ordered for us. Yeah. And uh, thanks a lot, PXG, for yeah. having us. And um, we'll it's get them in the studio. We won't close this video out because we're gonna get them in the studio. I wanna try all the clubs and not just yeah. the seven iron. Yeah. And really tink have time to tinker with them and see if they end up in the bag. Yeah, there's a lot of fitting experiences that you can have, but something about the PXG store, it just feels. Premium. Yeah, you're, it's a luxury Primo. product, which Primo. is awesome. Thank you guys. Primo, Love bud. It.